Hello everybody and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Let's jump right into it with XL Games. We got our team here with Richard XL, Richard Chandler, Ethel Daniel, Blake Myers, and Ben Silverman. We got the Hunted Hunting, currently selling pretty damn well as our latest hunting simulation hit. And before that we had a few, uh, few misses. 5.255 and 5.5. We'll ignore that they even exist in the first place. So to start, let's just make a new game. Let's jump right into it. How about it? How about a romance game? It's a good romance genre. Action, I guess? If you, like, are saving someone, does that work? Maybe? Let's try it. Action simulation. For the play system 2 with our real world 480p max engine. Save the girl. Not the world. There we go. Ah yeah. Alright, this is our first multi-genre game. Let's see how we do with it. Action simulation so I guess action is gonna be slightly more important although action simulation are their sliders are already pretty similar engine and gameplay are gonna be what it's all about and uh, not so much with stories and quests all right bump it out I still have an unlocked marketing I need to do that marketing needs to happen the play system, which made us almost 8 million bucks, is gone. That's too bad. Alright, in Save the Girl, Not the World, there will be no dialogue, I guess? Just about? Yeah. Once you save the girl, the game's over. So you don't have to talk to her and, you know, deal with the emotional crap. Alright. The game sphere has been released. Nice. Hi, this is Jorg Longa from Game Nova. I got word that XL Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? I would love to, Jorg Longa. Do you think that the game will be well received? Well, no. Let's be modest. It's a romance action simulation. What the hell am I supposed to expect? Alright. Action. Simulation. Yeah, let's do a little less on world design. Can we get a rich backstory in there? We can. So we know exactly why this girl's in trouble. Show it to me, boys. Hopefully this game's a hit, and then we can make an engine after this. Because we have not made one in a while. And we have 3D graphics speed 3 to work on. Alright. Throwing in a new bug. I like it, Blake. Made it over 3.6 mil with the hunted hunting. Very nice. Alright, guys. We just about done. We're done. Alright. Did I make a small game? No. I meant to make a medium game. I should have realized that when I wasn't putting people on sliders. No. Damn, yo. That sucks. All right, we're going to make a new engine anyway. Branching story. Achievements. Easter eggs and mini games. Day and night cycle and a soundtrack. And this will be... The all encompassing M1. What does the M stand for? I don't know. Is, is that does that really matter? Oh, I can't believe we made a small game instead of a medium game. I'm sorry, world. Oh no. Everyone's like, how did this come out of a full team? Because we made it in like four days. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Rumors are spreading that Invento is working on a new game console. 
in the mobile market. One well, invento. Personally, I can't wait. All right, guys. Engine's looking good. Someone stole our credit card. Fantastic. How did they spend forty thousand dollars? Lame. All right. Generate the game report, buddy. Blake. My God, Blake. I forget how much you suck. I should just replace you. But we're we've invested too much already. Get better. Um, Pixel Cup, let's go. Richard Chandler. Code Jam, let's go. Richard XL. Hmm. Another game jam, let's do it. There we go. Everyone's about to get ready for vacation. Romance and action simulation is a bad combination. So you know what? Maybe it wasn't even that I made a small game. Maybe I just made a mistake. Yep. Well, that's all me. Should we get a new topic? Should we get marketing? Marketing should be ready in a s Oh wait, nope. We're not gonna get another research point. Let's check it out. Let's do life. Let's get a life. TS64 will be taken off the market. And we lost a lot of money. Alright, let's find some contract work. Alright, there we go. Everyone's getting ready for vacation. Will we do a small booth? We will. Because once everyone gets back from vacation, we're going to start a new game. And it will be a medium sized game. Okay, team? Please be ready for this. Please be ready for this. We could even develop a sequel. Have we had any good games in a while? Oh my god, companionship of the thing. That was such a huge hit. Is it time to make a sequel? It is. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep this all the same. Play System 2 this time. Our brand new engine. The two tall buildings. No, this is not a 9-11 game. I know it sounds bad. Alright, here we go. RPG. Stories and quests all the way. Gameplay, also important. Engine, not as much. But just enough to... No. Alright, gameplay will bump up a bit. There we go. Oh no, achievements as well? We can't get achievements. Let's get rid of the tutorials. Throw in achievements. Branching story. It's gonna be glorious. And let's get our number one designer, Ethel Daniel, in there. Hitting it all up. Chandler on the engine. Let's go, everyone. After that colossal mistake I made, we need a big one. And the people at G3 agree. They're ready for a big hit. Everyone loves Companion of the Thing. The fellow companionship of the thing. Sorry. There's a big following. I can't get the name wrong. TES64 got us 1.1 million with one game. Not too bad. Alright. We know how to, what to do here. AI. Um, I feel like we can give some attention to AI. Mini games, Easter eggs. Oh, we're throwing it all in. Oh my god, forgot. Uh, Blake, can you do dialogues? I guess we need a new designer. Richard XL, get there. Richard Chandler. All right, let's see it, everyone. Do, 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 
All right, once again, world design. We're creating a massive world called Little Earth and it needs to be believable with a day and night cycle. As for the sound, can we fit a soundtrack in there? Is that using up too much for sound? It might be. What if we switch to basic sounds? You know what? People expect expect mono sound. All right. Can we do it? Can we do it? Let's do it. Oh my god. I need to get good. Blake. You do the sound. Richard Chandler on the graphics and Richard XL. On the world side. Okay, everyone. Make this a hit. The hype is big. People expect big things from us. Over a hundred hype. Get rid of those bugs. Throw in a few extra balls. Man, the two tall buildings is going to be quite the game. Battle of Hell is Beep. Uh, today, Ninvento has announced a new mobile console called the Nintendo GS. Features two screens. It's awesome. Damn. Maybe we can switch over to that soon, too. And the PPS is coming out to compete with it. Single screen. More powerful hardware. Next. Alright, guys. That's better. Huge records. Ethel Daniel leveling up. And expecting a lot of money as well. Let's do some contract work while we uh, wait for the reviews to come in. And they're in. The two tall buildings. It's the hit we needed. There we go. Let's go. Another 10. Another 10. Yes! Yes! Oh. Is this our best game yet? This is gonna save us. Screw you, GS. How can you compete with this? Oh. Yes, over 500,000 in the first week. Excitement around the game seems to have no end. Let's get over a million in that second week. XL Games has recently released a new sequel to their game, Companionship of the Thing. The newest game in the series, titled The Two Tall Buildings, was met with outstanding responses. Critics praised The Two Tall Buildings had a new, newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. That's what we do here. We drive technical innovation. Over a million. Oh, this feels good. Tell me how it's done. All right. Uh, you know, Ben, while you are going to be a tech guy, we need your design to be slightly better than that. Um, time trials. Blake needs to be a little faster. As for our main man, Richard Chandler. Uh, you know what? Keep becoming a better coder. And Ethel, keep becoming a better designer. Boss XL Games has grown well under your management. I think it is time to move the company out of this technology park and into a building worthy of our success. I've seen the perfect building for our new headquarters. It's not cheap, but will allow us to grow even further. The new office also has space for additional expansions. Do you want to move in? Pay $8 million. Can we afford that? Man. It's a gamble, but I think we're going to do it. Man. This is a, it's a little scary. We have just learned that you have opened your new headquarters not too far away from our university. We are just about to start a special course about game development and could really use your help. You can't pay us. Damn it, Greenheart University. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise of the year is The Two Tall Buildings by XL Games. Whoever wrote the story of The Two Tall Buildings, Ethel Daniel, love you baby, will likely win a prize for it. A stellar effort by XL Games Andrew McNara of Game Informing. Ethel, came up big, baby. Came up big. Why don't we open our own research and... You know what? I like that. Some R&D. 
will be great for us later. Can't wait. And we can make large games now. But, uh... I'm not so sure we are ready for that. Fantasy! Yes! Fantasy is the way to go. Dave Johnson here, CEO of Departure Science. Some of our test subjects were recently exposed to some of your games, and surprisingly, they didn't go totally insane. They seem to quite enjoy the experience, in fact. Anyway, I have some products that need advertising, and I could do with some product placement. Yeah, I'll take some 200,000 bucks. Why not? Alright, everybody. Large contracts have been unlocked. More importantly, we're getting ready for a new game. Once Blake is done, he's done. Let's develop a brand new game. Should we go with the fantasy genre? You know what? I think it's time we go with the fantasy genre. Wherever it is. Alright, fantasy. We could do like an action RPG. Let's do it. Action RPG. Play System 2 again. Everyone. The all-encompassing M1. Medium game. I remember this time. Alright. Well, the two tall buildings is similar to a fantasy action RPG. But it isn't quite that. Because what is the epitome of the fantasy action RPG genre? label a fable right exploding barrels let's throw them in it's an action RPG I feel like they need to go in an action game let's do it they're filled with oil they blow up when you hit them do damage to enemies do damage to you maybe they do damage to you all right action RPG engine gameplay a good amount of stories and quests, you know, more than you usually have in an action game. Uh, there we go. I think that's good. Um, Richard Chandler on the engine, our main man. How about Ben Silverman? Let's give him a try. An Ethel. Good work, girl. Good work. Let's do it. Normally when I play this game, I go like only PC, so it's fun to try out the consoles a bit. Play System 2, Play System, they've both been great for us. We haven't done any Mbox games yet, but maybe we will one day. Alright, action RPG. Dialogue's probably not so much, but level design and AI will both be pretty important. Let's see here, that's probably good right there. Dialogue's ethel, take back over. And uh, this is looking pretty good. Bump it out. Man, even after we spent $8 million to move here, we're still over $20 million in the bank. The two tall buildings made us $28 million. Yes! Ethel, it's all thanks to your story. It blew people's minds. All right. Action RPG, great graphics, and some pretty good world design and sound. Let's make sure we get world design all the way up. Can we, we can get the soundtrack. Yes. All right, Blake Myers can handle that. And this looks pretty good. And this is it. Man, if we can get another hit right now, that'll be a real nice padding for the bank. Real nice padding. And I think the next person, the next time people go on vacation, we can uh, fill, fit in a new spot. We can use a new designer. Give Ethel some help back there. Dream Bass is no longer supported. That's fine. Then, and 
let's release this beauty. 3D graphics V3 leveled up. Nice. Can we get V4? Not yet. All right. Let's uh, let's get marketing finally. I think uh, I think that'll be good for us. These use up so many research points. Man, I don't want to do that yet. You know, Blake kind of sucks. Gotta be honest, Blake really sucks. His design and tech are so low. But we'll stick with him. We will stick by his side. Let's speed Ben Silverman up. Ethel. Let's, uh, let's speed you up. And Richard Chandler. Let's get you some more research ability. In two months, the gameling will be taken off the market. The reviews for Label of Fable. Yes, it's big again. It's big. Nine. Oh my god, another ten. It's glorious. Yes. This is why we need marketing. So we know a game like this will just sell its balls off. Let's see how it sells. Uh, no, we're not going to start a new game anytime soon. Although, you know what? I think this will boost sales for Label of Fable. Yeah, man. So the hype was not huge for this game. So it's not selling as well as our last game. Oh, you did well placing our beloved barrels in Label of Fable. You're welcome. Thanks for the cake. Look at this. Still selling well. Oh, this feels good. Oh, this feels real good. I've been playing Label of Fable and have tremendously enjoyed the experience. The computer-controlled entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I caught myself talking at them at times. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Christopher Rignall, e-gaming check. Christopher, you're insane and I love it. And the people love Label of Fable. Well, everyone, I hope you love this video. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.